flowers for spring. These are a really fun craft and a perfect Mother's Day card or a card for anybody that you want to send a little bit of spring cheer to. You just need some colorful paper, even origami paper, anything bright and colorful. I already cut a square about five inches, but you can make them any shape or size you want. Trace your template onto your colorful paper and cut out. You don't need to be perfect. Experiment with watercolor paper. You can even make these out of newspaper. So once you have a perfect square, fold in half one way and use the back of the scissors to crease. This is a great double use for a pair of scissors. Open and then fold again so that both of your folds face out. And you have a little, kind of like the start of a cootie catcher you may have made in school. Just press it into a tulip shape. And then make sure that this bottom is a nice, sharp, crisp point. And then double stick tape on each of the seams and you can pop it into shape. My mom is a preschool teacher and I suggested this craft as a project for her kids for their Mother's Day card and I can't wait to see it. Once you've taped on each seam, squeeze just like you did. You've already kind of primed the shape when you did it originally. Squeeze and then trim a nice rounded petal. And these don't all have to match perfectly. You can make a whole arrangement in every color. So there's your bright red tulip. And before you can put the stem in, poke a little hole right in the base with your scissors. The stem is made of a fabric coated floral wire. Make a hook in the end. This will help kind of lock it in there and feed through. Now if you're doing this project with kids, you can use craft glue. I like to use hot glue because I'm impatient. Hot glue dries very fast. Just apply a dab on that little hook. The flower's really starting to take shape. It just needs a leaf. Any green paper. And to make the leaf fold a little bit just like this, and a tulip leaf is kind of a long, narrow leaf, you can get a few leaves out of one piece of paper. And this part is just sort of like an exaggerated version of cutting out a Valentine's Day heart. I think that the leaf will look good right here. And again, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of hot glue and secure it right in there. Craft glue would work just fine. I have this whole leaf to write everything I want to say to my mom. She's going to love this. I think all of the kids in my mom's preschool class will have fun making this, but a 30-year-old can have fun doing this too. I can't wait to give this card to my mom. She's going to love it. But afterwards, maybe I'll make a whole bunch, make myself a little forever spring arrangement in my home. Happy spring.